it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And actually it's Advent. And uh, when we, it's a time Advent is when we prepare ourselves to wait for the time to celebrate Christmas, for Christ to be born to us and for Christ's second coming. And uh, before we get too far into this sermon, I want to first apologize for my accent. You see, when I was in college, um, I took this course on public speaking, and on the very first day, uh, the teacher had us read something from the newspaper, and then she, and she would go around and she would identify where everybody was from based on the way they sounded. So we had somebody from Duluth, Minnesota, because she had the Minnesota, so they had the O oh sound, and then we had people from the South, and you had the, the, the Southern twang, and you know, to go around, and she, she was able to identify everybody until she got to me. <laughs> I kind of stumped her, she says, well, I hear something kind of hard and nasally. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's Buffalo, New York. <laughs> Just, but I also kind of sometimes hear Southern in there. It's like, yeah, my father was from Southern West Virginia. And so that slips in every now and then. And then she's like, and there's something else. And she's going on. She's like, it kind of sounds like California Valley girl. <laughs> it's like, like uh, uh, Canada, I, I live out, out and about, you know, and every once in a while that sneaks into it. It's like that's that's kind of the way I speak because of where I'm from. And so in the in that it was a really interesting class. Um, but I learned in that class that there's three different pronunciations for Mary, which was like what? So the the girl's name it, Mary is Mary, but then you they are joyful as in Mary. So Merry Christmas. And then if you're going to be, if you're betrothed, looking forward to getting married. And so the way that we're supposed to say it is, Mary is Mary because she's going to be married. <laughs> okay, so for real, as we go through this, I'm going to likely be saying, Mary is Mary because she's getting married. <laughs> I was like, I was like, she's married. But I thought I'd just bring that up, and you know, because you you can be identified by the way you speak or anything else about where you're from. But where you're from doesn't matter. What matters is where you're coming from. What place is in your heart, down in your heart? Where are you coming from? That's what really matters. And Mary, Mary, was from Nazareth, a tiny village a kind of nothing kind of town that was looked down on by people of Galilee. I mean, later on, um, Philip was going to introduce Nathaniel to Jesus and said that he was from Nazareth. And, and Nathaniel even said, Nazareth, can anything good come from Nazareth? And yet the Holy Family would be from Nazareth. Mary, Joseph, and the Christ child named Jesus. God sent the angel Gabriel to give Mary this message of joy sent to Nazareth. Because it didn't matter where Mary was from, what mattered was where she was coming from. And Mary was coming from a place in her heart that would lead her to become a God bearer. And we as Christians are called to be God bearers, Christ within us and into the world. Gabriel said, greetings, favored one. And favored one means full of grace. Full of grace. Greetings, you who are full of grace. The Lord is with you. And unlike Zechariah, it doesn't say that Mary was terrified. Instead, it says Mary was trying to figure out where this angel was coming from. And so Mary's first response was to be perplexed and pondering just trying to figure out, full of grace, me? The Lord is with me? What, what do you say? I mean, imagine it's like the response that so many have when they really hear the gospel message. God loves me. God has grace, unmerited kindness, care, love, forgiveness, blessings, salvation for me? The Lord is with me? Mary was coming from a place where she was open 
to God's grace. And we have to ask, are we coming from a place of where we are open to God's grace? Gabriel done, then does say, do not be afraid, and reassures her again that she has found favor. She is full of grace. Grace has been given from God. But I tend to think of Mary not being afraid of the angel. She was perplexed. She was pondering. But I think Gabriel was saying, don't be afraid, as in prepping her for what was coming next. Don't be afraid, okay? It's, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> it's going to be a lot, but it's going to be good. Remember, you found favor. The Lord is with you. God is going to do something amazing through you. And Mary would need to trust God. So are we coming from a place where we are trusting God? Gabriel tells Mary of God's plan she would bear a son who would be great, son of the Most High, and will have the throne of David, a kingdom that will never end. She would become a God-bearer, the God-bearer, as she bears the Christ child, and she is to name him Jesus, which means the Lord is salvation. Now, there would be good reason for Mary to be afraid of this idea, she was betrothed to Joseph, which was a legally binding agreement lasting about a year with an expectation of complete faithfulness and purity from intimacy until they were married. If she was found pregnant, not only would Joseph not marry her, not only would she be scorned and shamed by everyone, but there was a possibility she could even be stoned to death. There's a good reason for why she could be afraid of this. God's grace would bring such a joy-filled opportunity, and yet it could be risky, dangerous. And she would need to fully trust in God's grace, fully trust that the Lord really was with her. Mary would need faith. Are we coming from a place of Faith in God. Mary, who was a young girl from Nazareth, yet she showed incredible faith and trust. And she asks a question, not a question of doubt like Zechariah, but a question, how can this be since I'm a virgin? As in, how's this going to happen? I, I, I'm with you, but... Fill me in. How's this plan going to occur exactly? So Gabriel tells her the plan, a plan that doesn't give many details. It'll be done through the Holy Spirit, the power of the Most High. And like always with God, have faith and trust that God will do what God says, knowing that God's grace can do it. Grace has power. Grace heals. Grace transforms. Grace has the power to change lives. God is able. God's grace saves us. And then we bear Christ to the world by God's grace. So what place are we coming from? Can people tell if we are coming from a place of God, that we are coming from a place of grace? Are we coming from a place of humility before God, offering ourselves fully as Mary does? Gabriel told Mary, the child you will bear will be holy. You will be called son of God. And Mary says, here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Wow, with openness, trust, faith, humility, Mary would be a God-bearer. It would not be easy, but Mary was willing, knowing that in spite of anything that happened, she would be living in God's will. And she continued to live in God's will, to come from a place of God in her heart. 
Mary treasured in her heart all that happened when Jesus was born. Mary was with Jesus as he died on a cross for our sins. Mary was at the tomb when Jesus rose again. Mary was in the upper room after Jesus ascended, waiting for Pentecost. It doesn't matter where we're from. What matters is where we're coming from, down in our heart, which leads us then to where we are going. God sent Gabriel to give Mary a promise. God's grace, God's salvation would come through Jesus. And it brought joy down in her heart. So where are we coming from and where are we going? Are we open to grace? Trust, faith, humility, willing. The way with Jesus may not always be easy, but it brings joy deep down in our heart, knowing that we are full of grace and that God is with us. And so we sing a song of praise. As Mary did, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. I invite you to stand as we sing that together, rejoicing in God's salvation, rejoicing in God's grace with all of us, for the Lord is with us. Thank you. 
done great things for you. Amen. 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 Yes.